I'm thinking, you know, maybe. No, 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 no. That's just an Internet of Thing. Mm -hmm. the, you know, the the device that you're talking about is a car. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. The Internet of Everything is a different business than being in the 5G business. Mm -hmm. 5G implies an infrastructure that is much like your towers surrounding your house. Everybody's house has a cell phone tower mm -hmm. within four kilometers of you. It's what goes up on that tower and how many will have to be climbed, 40,000 or so here in the UK, 400,000 in America, um, 500,000 in Europe. Mm -hmm. That's what we have to deal with is the climb and what do you take up to the top of that tower. Mm -hmm. There is a probability that there won't be a climb at all. There'll be a smart cell, a small cell, physically much larger, and far more of them, 100 million or more, will be installed by 2020 mm -hmm. to replace the big ones that are up there now. Wow. That, that's how radical this means. Very inexpensive. Pl planted on street lights everywhere. And a gigabit per second in both directions is probably what we should expect a mm -hmm. year from now. Mm -hmm. So you, that's a major switch from where we have in our pockets today. Yeah. Something you cannot imagine the clarity of this call. I'm expecting eight uh, sort of 4K quality cameras, which we already have, to be 4K screens, which we don't have. Mm -hmm. That's a minor change in, in, in technology for the phone, but the physical network backbone is critical. Mm -hmm. And frankly, there are many of us who think it will be hybrid, a combination of Wi-Fi at various very high speeds and um, something I can't talk very much about, but white spaces, TV white spaces will be used as, as a low, low end spectrum for sending minimal data to the car. Mm -hmm. 